a big a big deal with us. And he was like a role model. So him just being now, I just know how to step up. Coach Rod was just telling me all week, so I just had to do film, do extra practice, do all that. And I just knew when it came time for the game, you know, I was gonna step up. So ever, I mean, everyone plays with confidence, but until you've actually done it, is there like any uncertainty to your mind that like when you step out on the field, like, am I ready for this? Can I do this? Uh, you know, am I ready for the challenge? Um, I think that's what last year was for, the uncertainty. And I think that last year gave me, like, this year to be prepared. So, like, I was just ready. I knew whenever my number was called, it was time for me to step up and make a play. Kenna, did you know your t your number was going to get called more just without Jermaine and without more Trez, and then BJ gets ejected for targeting? So, mm -hmm. kind of, it just seems like it was kind of leading up to you getting more play. Right? Yeah, me, Coach Rod, he talked to me about He was just like, I need to be ready, always be ready for my number call. But he'd been saying that before they even got hurt. He always tell us just be ready. You never know when it's time for the game. So it was just I was ready for whenever my number was called, and it was called, and I was just made plays when it was time. What are some of the skills you think you improved on the most from last year to this year? I feel like the playbook. Mm -hmm. I know the playbook was probably the most challenging thing for me. I just know like I had really dialed in and that, and really got to focus there, and then really got with Coach Rod to work on like my angles, passion rush, things with him because him coming from the NFL, you know, that made my favorite. So I just really brought into his process, listened to him, and then showed up on the game day. What's he like as a coach? We kind of all see him be technique oriented and detailed and. All players seem to love him. What do you right. like most about playing for him? Um, I think his honesty. He like he's not a beat around the bush guy. He's much straightforward. He's honest, and he never lied. And never lied to me. So it's just him being there. Like I trust him. He trusts me. And then that's how our relationship built like that. What was his main message to you after Saturday's game? Um, keep going. We got to keep going. It's a long season left. There's more games left. More practices. So it's just. Got to keep going, dial in. Got a big game this week, so just keep being prepared. Do you expect to have a bigger role this week? Um, I would I say bigger role. I say my role is always big every week, but I just feel like yeah, I do want to step up this week and stop the run, stop the pass, and do what I'm supposed to do. When you say this UCLA team, um, you know, especially their offensive line, um, are they similar to BYU or maybe other team you played this year? Um, you know, they're, they're a physical, fast, strong offensive line, but, you know, we just look down and film, and it's, it's always everybody can get beat. So it's just another team, another week, you know, so things a, like that. There's a very tough road environment at, at BYU. I mean, do you think you learned some lessons on how to handle, you know, just the road conditions? Yeah, just um, block the outside noise. Don't, don't feed into it. Just play your game, play your role, and just do your job, and everything will be fine. As a whole, what, what stands out to you about UCLA's offense? Um, I say we got we to gotta stop the run. Obviously, they got a strong bait. We just want to stop the run, and then after the run, stop the pass. And that's what Hearn been dialing in there all week in AP. How do, you, how do you prepare for a team that has two running backs that could be so effective when you when you say stop the run? What, what do you do to prepare for that? Physical. You just got to be more physical than them and be smarter than them, be disciplined. Listen to all coaches and we'll be fine. And then just another week we were facing a quarterback that has the ability to get outside the pocket and, and scramble. How do you prepare for that? And in what ways has the last couple of matchups where you faced a quarterback who has a strong running ability, how has that prepared you for maybe this weekend? Yeah, I feel like since like our starting game, we've been having to deal with running quarterbacks. So and it's like our defense has been doing a great job. It's like allowing not him to run. So I just feel like we're going to just keep on moving and improving every week. And I just feel like we would keep doing what we're doing. We can stop. We can stop the quarterback. Does that change your approach at all as an end to have to face a quarterback who can run in terms of the way that you pass rush? Um. Yeah. Obviously, I can't be like too upfield, be too physical, or things like that. Be more smarter and just make sure contain him. This past week, DTR hurt his throwing arm, and he still played in the game. But how important do you think it is to like make sure that you contain him in the pocket so you force him to beat him with that injured arm? Um, I ain't gonna look at the arm too much. I'm gonna say I'm gonna stay with the goal of a defensive plan. I ain't gonna really focus on one player. The more we of team and what our team defensive schemes have been doing and things like that, I don't feel like we'll be able to stop him. It's always time to run first before pass. I'm just not getting the playing time that you probably could have used from a developmental standpoint. Um, I feel like it helped me being on the sideline in a way because it was more, in my cell being honest, I wasn't ready last year. 
I, I think it was it might have been too much for me. So they learning the year and me just being able to dial in, get more playable, get stronger in the weight room, get faster. I feel like it helped me in the long run. And now when my numbers caught, I'm ready to do my job. So were you a little surprised that coming from high school? Because I'm sure everybody comes out of high school and thinks, oh, I can play right away, and then you get mm -hmm. here. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Learning experience for sure. Um, I know out of high school, you know, big recruit. I'm thinking I'm going to come up here and play. And then it's different when you get here. But it's just like buying a process. And I feel like just me just working and me just buying in and the coach Rod and listening to him, you know, it shows up on, on game day. What's the biggest difference? Is it just speed of the game? Um, I just feel like the buy in process. The high school is like you can have you can have high school is just do your job. Like high school you're gonna make plays. But here you're gonna need all eleven guys. So it's just like doing your job is the most important. On, on third downs against Colorado, you guys brought out a, a group of defensive linemen, you, Anthony, BJ and, and Garrett. It's a, it's a really young group and you guys were successful. What, what is it about the four of you that just works that, that was able to get it done on, the, on Saturday? Um, I think we just hungry. And you know, all of us, we all young and we all like, you know, we hang out together man. So it's just like before the games, like we just be talking like we know what we gotta do and we all gonna lock in. Cause you know, we go in as a front four, so all of us we just talk and we need to go do our job out there. We'll make our team proud and stuff.